Oh, hey guys. You got my water ready? You go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song to sing. Getting ready to head out to go uh, get a haircut, as you can see. As long as I've let it get, <clears throat> but I'm leaving tomorrow morning real early for Ohio. I'm actually gonna go head to uh, Tiger Fitness headquarters, meet up with Mark Lobliner with uh, the Man Sports guys. We're gonna get together, mingle, train, film, collab, whatever you wanna call it, hang out um, for, I think, Two days, so I'll be back Wednesday. Oh man, it's dark. I'll be back Wednesday. <clears throat> Leaving tomorrow morning real early. My flight leaves at eight. And I gotta go all the way to LAX, which is like a two hour drive. It's gonna suck, but uh, I'm gonna do what needs to be done. It was a short notice flight <clears throat> that Man Sports hooked me up with. So, it's gonna be nice. Get out of town, get away from my desk, work for a little bit even though it's still working. But it's fun work. I love what I do. So yeah, I'm gonna head to the barber shop and then I'm meeting with some friends. I have my friend Cheryl and Lee, really good friends from way back in high school. Um, they just, <coughs> they are pregnant and they wanna make some um, announcement pictures and uh, they asked me if I could take some pictures with my camera, which I'm not a professional, but it's gonna be better than you know taking it with their iPhone. Guys, about the pumpkin patch with Lee and Cheryl. We're gonna snap their pics real quick. I got the 50 mil lens on. It is hot as hell out here. Mission accomplished. That's so cool. Uh, you burp? Yeah, I heard vitamins. You're gonna be on YouTube burping now. What? What's up guys, made it back to the campus. Getting into some client emails, check-ins, sipping on some water with my ISO aminos. Thanks for just ran to uh, uh, Wobble Grill to go pick up some lunch. So, I'm gonna get this done. I got a lot of stuff to do, get squared away before I head home so I can just feel good going on this trip. Just feeling, um, just collected and I feel like I, I finished everything, you know, accomplished before I head out. Yeah, tomorrow I got check-ins with my clients also. So Sunday, Mondays are, are busy days for me. So I will be working while I'm on the road and I have my uh, my MacBook, which I love. All right, taking a little break with some Waba Grill. Catching up on some uh, YouTube videos. I'm gonna push back. Yeah, there you go. We're on the computer um, putting up the new TOC joggers on the site. They will be available pretty soon. I'm not sure when we're going to release them, but uh, I wanted to show you guys. We've been rocking them the past like week. So they are poly. So they're polyester. They have a lot of stretch to them. I designed them so they are very, very tight, very, very snug. The fit's more like in between your standard joggers and compression tights. This is how they look like. Very, very simple, very clean. Just the logo right here. Side pockets, no zippers. Back pocket. Um, yeah, so they have a slight shine to them, which I wanted. I want them different. Different from your, your, your standard fleece and cotton joggers. But they have a heather print on them that adds a little bit of, you know, um, just mix up to them. I am wearing the smalls. Um, my waist is around, around 28 and a half right now, 5'7". 158, 160. Tankster also wears the smalls. Chung is wearing a large. He's like 5'10, 5'11. He's like 190. We're just going to have smalls, mediums, and larges for now. So these are limited edition. Um, see how they do. I really like them. They just look a lot different than your, your regular cotton joggers. And they're really, really comfortable. Really light, really stretchy. Um, they keep you cool, they keep you warm. 
Getting kind of hungry. Um, I'm going to have a quick snack, the protein cookie, ch classic chocolate chip. Again, macros are on these are 9 fat, 21 carb, and 20 protein. You guys have been asking to see my, my kicks collection for the longest time, so I'm going to show you guys. So this is an extra room we have in the house. Here it is. Used to be in the master bedroom's closet, but uh, I had some time, so I, I got these shelves off Amazon just to organize it because it was a pain before. I just had them stacked in the closet. It was just crazy in there just trying to grab one pair. But I'm going to go through it real quick. I got some old trainers up here. They're like old free runs, old um, Nike trainers. I don't even know what they're called. Um, like, look at these. Old free runs, 5.0s. Um, and these are the, uh, what are these called? Lunar Glides. Lunar Glides. Uh, what else do I have up there? Other free runs. And then Hirachis. I got two pairs right there. Some, I don't even know what these are. Air Safaris. I got all my uh, Hyperfeels. Right here, I got these custom Nike ID, all pink. Um, these are 3.0s. And yeah, I got these Nike ID a while back, before, uh, right before, I, right before my, my business started growing. It says online coach right there. On the tongue, these mean a lot to me. A lot of sentimental value. Hyper feels. These, the sock darts that were really hard to come by when they came out. Free runs. These are the free run 3.0s. Black. I have all the models pretty much like close together. Free runs, the newer ones. Different colorways. Uh, the sock flies. I got them in this color. The pinkish, purplish. And then all black murdered out. What are these called again? These are uh, the Flynet trainers. These are older, older um, model, but I keep them clean. Um, got these as a present from a follower, um, supporter, Corey. Free runs. These are the 5.0s. I don't even think I've worn these off yet. Some uh, these are like loafer style Nikes. These are the Roshi runs, the slip ons. I only got two pairs the slip ons and then these fly knit ones. Not really a big fan. And then I have some old, old Air Max. Um, what are these called? Uh, I forget what these are called. Air Max. I was really into these a long, long time ago, like 2009, 2010. I think these were 2009s. Different colorways. Some Tailwinds, if you guys remember this. Another pair of Tailwinds. Some Nike slip-ons. I mean, Jordan slip-ons. And then some older Nikes up there. Some more Air Maxes and then my New Balance collection right here. Um, I think you guys seen me rock these. These are the, uh, what are these called? The Air Currents. It's like a more vintage, old school look. And then, Tavas. I got the red, the murdered out black. This blue red colorway. This blue colorway. Gray blue. Air Max 90s. The Ices. Colorway. I don't even know the the names. This is really what I've been rocking lately. Snakeskin, like tealish, polka dot. Purplish. These are cool because they're like meshy. 
I'm probably going to rock these um, on my trip tomorrow. Some more ices. These are the Rio Brazils. The corks, I haven't even rocked these yet. These are super, super dead stock. Uh, this is another version of the Air Max. I forget what the exact model. These are some retro Air Maxes that I got from a client of mine a while back. I think I've worn these once. These are the South Beach, uh, I think they're the Hyperposites. Yeah. Uh, I unbox these for you guys. The questions. Haven't worn these yet. Um, and then down here, just some um, older non retro Jordans that uh, they're just casual South Beaches that I picked up at an outlet a while back. These CP3s that I play ball in outdoors. I think these are some, more, some other CP3s. Yep. Uh, and then here are all my casual shoes, which there's not very many. Dress shoes, Sperry's, other dress shoes, um, some dressier slip-on shoes up there, Chucks, which I haven't rocked in a while, it used to be all about Chucks, some weird Jordans, some other weird Jordans. Dusty. And then down here that I keep in boxes are all my retros. I'm not really big on the crazy colorways. I just like, I go for the, the simple OG colors. I'll show you each one of these. So these are retro ones. Lows. Twos. I think I have like one or two in each colorway. Just depends. Fours. These are the fire reds. Fives. These mean a lot to me. I had these when I was a little kid. I think I was like four or five. One of the first ones that I bought. Another pair of fives. Number sixes, and I do have them in order. These are sevens, the Marvins. Just got these nines. I think Sonya got me these for birthday or something a while back. These are tens. These not too long ago, the 11 lows. Up 11, these are the breads. You guys all know these ones. These are probably my favorite pair. Concords. And I do keep these in the bag. I'm trying to keep them as icy as possible, but they're already yellowing. Oh well. Adds character. Probably the hardest to keep clean. These twelves taxis. These are big. These are Bodhi. I don't even think I've worn those yet. These are thirteens. The he got games. One of my favorites. Don't really bring these out too much. But these mean a lot to me too because I I actually had these um. Freshman or sophomore year when I played basketball for Temecula Valley. Who wore those in games? The 11s. The Concours actually mean a lot to me. Um, I bought those like after 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 one of the releases. So I, I bought them like for a, 
a good amount. These aren't even retros, these are just 8.0s. Um, I wanted those when I think junior year when I was playing varsity basketball and my, my, my dad couldn't afford them at the time, couldn't get them, I think they were 200 bucks. So it meant a lot to me when I was able to buy those, even though they're way more than retail. These are not retros, these are uh, Cinemars. And that's it guys. That is my shoe collection. I mean, it's growing. Each shoe has like just memories. and uh, To me, it's part of my uniform for my business. Lucky to say that, you know, Every, every shoe that I buy, I, I'm actually just very, very proud to be able to purchase them. I mean, as a kid, I always wanted shoes, love shoes. It's just a Filipino thing, especially playing basketball growing up. Like, shoes were, I don't know, I can't even explain it. Just shoes were a big deal. It was just feeling fresh. You feel fresh, you perform good, you, you train good, you just feel good. So... That's my shoe collection. I've had more over the years. I've given them away. Um, I've given a lot of friends and family for shoes just because I wasn't wearing them and um, just put them to better use. You know what I mean? But the, the cool thing about shoes, they don't really go out of style. You don't grow out of them. They're a they're good investment and they're, it's a fun, fun little hobby. So that's it. My shoe collection. I have a plate and this Arctic Zero cold mint chip to end the night. I'm off to bed. Early flight in the morning. I'm going to get up around like 3.45, 3.30. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. You go, I go. You stay, I stay. One song, you sing.